Have you ever missed a wide open three pointer off of Hall of Fame Dimer with a sharpshooter just because you do not have your hotspots? Well, have no fear, people. Today, I am going to show you how to get your hotspots on any player in less than 10 minutes. 5 to 10 minutes. So, you see, this is my 86 6 3 playmaker that I made when the game came out. And he has no hotspots. Absolutely no hotspots. You see, I even have these dribble moves that I put on right when the game came out that do absolutely nothing. They don't get you open at all. So you can tell I've never used this player, to be honest. So uh, yeah, he has no hotspots. So what you want to do is you want to turn on your 2K. This is the first step. You want to turn on your 2K. And then you load up your player that has the hotspots. So in this case, I'm going to use my... 6-5 sharpshooter he has all of the hot spots but three spots in the paint so you need to do this you need a player who has hot spots and a player who does not have hot spots that you want to transfer them to it takes five to ten minutes it's so fucking simple you see so uh you load up the player with hot spots and i don't know how players lose their hot spots all the time i don't know 2k is an incredible game very incredible so you see, this is my 6-5 sharp. He has hot spots. As you can see right here, there we go, right corner, all of the three-point hot spots. About to show you the midi ones. There you go. All these are hot except for right over there. Which you can tell this is proof when I transfer them over that I won't have those three in the paint. Right there, there, and in the paint. So uh, what you want to do is you want to shoot 15 plus times you see i'm just gonna start shooting around in my my court for like a good five minutes if this is on 100 game speed it'll go twice as fast on both your uh player that has the hot spots and the player that doesn't have the hot spots it'll go twice as fast if you have it on 100 game speed it doesn't matter if you make the shots it does not matter at all it doesn't matter where you shoot them from it doesn't matter if they are or are not hot spots you just need to Turn on your 2K, load up the player who has hotspots, and then you want to pick up a ball, shoot around 15, whatever, how many times, 10 to 15 times, just keep shooting, it's simple, you see, I'm, I'm, I missed one right now, it's gonna work, I'm shooting from the places that have hotspots, I'm shooting from the places that don't have them, I'm shooting threes, I'm shooting layups, I'm shooting middies, it doesn't matter. But after this, what you want to do is you want to leave. You just want to leave after you shoot 15 plus times. You want to leave the court. Then what you're going to want to do is you want to load up your player who doesn't have the hot spots. I'm about to show you that in a minute. But you want to load up that player. I'm just going to fast forward real quick so you can uh, get so we can get to the point. I don't want to waste your guys' time on a hotspot tutorial. So, yeah, you see, I just shot 15 times. I shot 15 times. Fast forwarding again. I shot 17. It doesn't matter as long as it's more than, like, 10, 15. I don't know. But you want to back out right after this. Just back out. And then I'm going to load up that same player I showed you guys before. My 6-3 playmaker. So, it's going back to the main menu. I'm about to pick him. There we go, 6'3", playmaker, 86 overall, first player. I've never used him before, so of course he doesn't have any hotspots. Now this works for literally, you can do this unlimited times. Say, it's gonna say it's gonna say sharpshooter right now, but it's actually my playmaker. It's, it's like glitch, look, because it shows max playmaking, max agility. That's how people lose hotspots, because if you load up one player, play a micro game, load up another one, play a micro game, it could mess up your hotspots. That was the old glitch. They like reversed it or something. I don't know. It takes a long time. But this thing, it takes so much less time. So once you load up this player, you cannot pick up a ball. Because that will mess up that'll mess up the entire thing. What you need to do is just press circle right away. The 2K nav down there. Just press circle. Or no, you don't press circle. I am dumb. You press the X button. You press X, not circle. I am quite dumb. And then you start up a my career game. It doesn't matter how long the quarters are. It doesn't matter what the game speed is. Because you're going to sim right when the game starts. So you see this is my player and that court. 
He has no hot spots. I can't pick up a ball and show you guys because that'll mess up the entire thing. You have to start a my career game. And once you start the my career game, you just let this whole pregame thing go through. You press X, start it up. Then you wait until the jump ball happens. And then you get the ball. And then simply you just sim out. And then the hot spots are going to transfer over from your player who has the hot spots to the player who doesn't have them. Both, both of them will... <coughs> oh my. Both of the players will still have their hot spots. You can do this however many times you want. Like... My glass cleaner didn't have hot spots because they got taken away. I gave them back to him because I just did this glitch and a limited amount of times. But if you want to do it again, you just have to make sure that you uh, close your app. Then once again, load up the player with the hot spots. Shoot around 15 plus times. Back out. Load up the player you want to transfer him to. And there you go. Load up. Then pull up the micro game. Press X. Bang. And then sim. So you see I'm on the bench here. I am put in the game. I do not have the ball. So you have to wait until you get the ball. I'm about to rip him right here. So uh, then I'm going to check to see if I have my hot spots. You see I'm going over there to the corner. Hot spot. Hot spot. This is the player who didn't have any. This is my 6'3 playmaker. So you can see all of these are hot spots. All of these spots are hot spots. And then I'm going to show you guys down there in the paint. You're about to see it's white. Come on, there we go. Yeah, it's white right there. Because that's not a hot spot. That's how my sharp had his hot spots. So, uh, yeah. You want to sim. You want to pause, sim out with VC, blah, blah, blah. And then, once this loads you back to your my court, you should have all of your mother-loving hot spots on your player. So, uh, yeah, it's that simple. It takes 5 to 10 minutes. It is that easy. I'm just going to fast forward through this for you guys so I'm not skipping anything. I don't just want to cut it out. I have to show you guys the entire process so you can tell that it works. So, uh, yeah, it takes a nice little amount of time to load back in. But once you load in, you could pick up a ball, walk around, and then your player that had no hotspots 10 minutes ago will have hotspots once again. Because Hanky is the savior of the day, and I will save you all from wasting your lives grinding for hot spots. So, uh, yes, I am about to pick up the ball, and I am going to walk around, and you will see there are the hot spots. Ha yeah. <laughs> see, everywhere is a hot spot, and then those three spots in the paint aren't going to be hot spots because my sharp did not have those three spots. But uh, yeah, if you guys were helped by this video, I hope you would maybe reward me and drop a subscribe or like the video and I will be very, very happy and forever grateful. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all can now go get your hotspots if any player lost them. I don't know why 2K makes people lose hotspots randomly. In a video game, I don't, I don't know how you could just load up a player, lose your hotspots, blah, 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 all that grinding on. So drop a like if you enjoyed the video, if you were helped. And uh, yeah, thank you for 300k. I'm a goat. Bye. Uh, <laughs>